because I never studied advertising and I never uh, took an advertising class or I never took a marketing class, uh, I had to develop my own ideas about what good advertising was and what effective marketing was. And my ideas came from my experience, not from books, not from what other people said or wrote or did. Uh, and consequently, when you invent your own, I don't know, world, um, you're going to have certain points of view that are different from a lot of other people. And I did that. Uh, you know, I, I had my opinions. But I, uh, you know, when I write and when I speak, I'm not giving any value if I'm just agreeing with what everyone else says. There's no value in the who, who cares about someone who gets up and says, this is right, this is right, this is right. This. You have to have a point of view if you're going to add value to people who are spending the time and energy to listen to you. And so I focused my talks on things that I thought were wrong things that I thought were being done in a way that wasn't correct, things, behaviors of consumers that were being misinterpreted or, or um, and, uh, and that, th that's why I think my ideas are controversial because that's what I focus on. I focus on the things that I, that, that, that I find are, are different in my opinion than what the mainstream thinks. Now I have to tell you though, that what I have found is that there are a lot more people who agree with me than you would think. Uh, when I, there are a lot of people in the advertising business who are afraid to say what they really think. They have jobs to protect, they have homes, they have cars, they have families. Uh, if they if they start talking like I talk, I I I can say whatever I want because I don't care. I I'm retired. I can say whatever I want. I don't have a job or an income to protect. A lot of people do, and there's kind of a there's a little bit of fear in the advertising business about being too controversial inside your agency. But when I speak, uh, I'm always pleasantly surprised at how many people will come up to me in the hotel afterward or come up to me after I speak and say, I'm so glad you said that. I, I wish I could say that. I, you know, I wish I could tell my boss or my client or my colleague or what you're saying. Um, it, it's surprising how many, I guess, um, what secret people secretly agree with me, yeah. I think.